morning. Welcome to Malena Learning. I'm Amber. Um, at the moment in uh, Victoria, here in Melbourne, um, a lot of people are homeschooling for the first time. And it's been a couple of weeks now since we've been homeschooling um, and more and more friends and family are, are contacting me asking for a little help. Uh, with their homeschooling needs. So I'm just about to go and visit a family now and I thought I'd make a quick video of the type of materials that I have and the resources I have that are very easy and quick for me to prepare um, that might align with some of the primary prep grade one um, the material that the school is asking for parents to cover themselves at home. So this is going to come out in no particular order. It's just a quick uh, video to show you some of the materials that I have that I'm taking uh, to one of my little students homes today. Um, something that some of the schools covering are first and last phonic sounds. So I have a material with lots of uh, sounds that we can practice making some real words or some pretend words and we can match them up to the pictures. Uh, depending on this student, we might also write them out as well. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this because it's always fun. Um, since we're talking about first and last phonic sounds, I, I have an activity, uh, Humpty Dumpty. This was actually made and given to me by a friend of mine, but I really enjoy doing it. Um, it's simply Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, but uh, we can mix and match all these first sounds um, so that we can also make a funny version of Humpty Dumpty. It also has a song that goes with it, which um, I may or may not play, depending on where we get up to, depending on what the school has asked for the little boy to do today. Um, I have some materials for some, uh, some blends. We might look at the ch sound and we might look at the Shh sound depending if the little boy is up to there um, So I'm gonna put them in there and I have some corresponding worksheets for that as well um, Which comes from this material called uh, funky phonics and that has songs Worksheets um, and things like that as well. So I've made some copies just in case we cover that today I think We will be looking at a lot of uh, language activities. So I have a couple of warm-up puzzles that we might do with uh, spelling out some words, looking at those individual letters. Um, I have another puzzle. This one is for rhyming sounds. So we might look at that as well. Um, and some other words we might look at are uh, things like opposites. Um, so I might try and get him to write out some opposites, uh, think of some new ones himself. Uh, of course, I like it um, when I approach phonics. I like an explicit approach to phonics. So I have um, some letter cards here that you might have seen in some of my videos that we can then make up words and sound them out as well. Like at um, some kids that I've worked with so far are looking at the first phonic sound, some are looking at the last. Um, depend. I've got enough here for all sorts of words. Um, so depending on what the school is asking for the child to cover, I can also do that as well. I'm ready. Um, I'm also bringing along a lot of loose letters um, to make some more words. Um, and maybe concentrate on some of those first sounds or end sounds depending on where this little boy is up to with his reading. Uh, to, make, to loosen it up a bit, I've, I'm also going to take um, some of the corresponding puzzles as well uh, so we can have a look at some of those words. I'll put some in there. Um, I like to try and make things as um, nice as possible. So I'm going to bring in some games as well. Um, this is a I Spy game and hidden in here are lots of different things. And this also um, has a little scavenger hunt worksheet. So 
I might get him to try and find some of these words, um, find it in the tube, but also get him to write it out in his workbook so he can practice on some writing to make it as fun and as straightforward as possible. Um, as well, so that's something else I have. Uh, I've got to keep looking at those letters. I'm also going to take along my Scrabble uh, Junior. Sorry, Scrabble Junior. So we can play a game. But while we're playing a game, looking at those letters, and I'll try and emphasize as much as possible uh, those phonic sounds within words. And I've also got some other little three word puzzles and things as well. Uh, some of the preppies are learning to count from 1 to 20 and backwards from 20 to 1 but also addition and some subtraction of numbers within there. So I'm going to take an abacus. Uh, I always count with the kids in class by 10s, 10s, 20s um, and then using an abacus can sometimes make it a little bit easier to see the 10s and if it's, you know, uh, adding on ones and we can see that that's 15 etc etc um, I also like to uh, show the kids all the combinations that they could make uh, with the addition and subtraction of particular numbers so this is five and making a little stair like this we can say that four and one is five three and two is five two and three is five one and four is five etc etc so we might play some games like that or some other things with um, the abacus as well and see if it corresponds to some of the stuff that the school is asking uh, him to do as well uh, depending on what is being asked I'm also going to take um, some sets of numbers I'm going to take two sets of numbers one in yellow uh, one in blue um, to help with some addition and subtraction so I'll take some uh, counters along as well so we can count them out uh, if he's looking at numbers, I'm also going to take my clock. Clocks are great because we can count by ones around the outside of the clock. We can also count by fives, fives, ten, fifteen, twenty. If that's what the the school is asking for them to do, that's something that we can practice doing as well by counting little blue numbers, five, ten, so on and so on. Um, and depending on this little boy's interest, uh, I might make some copies of some worksheets with about time. Now Mother's Day is coming up so if we have time or interest um, I'm gonna do a craft activity. I don't think I've actually packed it um, but I've got some little paints, uh, some little paints here, some paint brushes and uh, this activity we're going to paint a mug or a little porcelain um, bowl or something like that and we can pop it in the oven and we can talk about how hot the oven has to be, how long it has to be to cook for so that the paint stays on forever and that can be a nice quick gift for mum for Mother's Day this week. Uh, if you're having any trouble with homeschooling and there's any issues or any content that you're not sure how to approach, by all means send me a message. I can prepare some materials for you, games and activities that cover those things and I can either do it together with your child, of course practicing social distancing, wash my hands. Um, yeah, send me a message, I'm here, I've got more resources than I know what to do with, I'm here to help, so send me a message. Okay, bye.